When's the last time you've seen a 1940 Pontiac five window coupe? This is the first one we've run across at Coyote Classics and it's done in a beautiful raven black with absolutely gorgeous chrome. This fat fendered five window coupe um, had its bumpers completely re chrome, bumper guards, the grill still looks great. This is a good combination of original and the street rod. Uh, it's powered by a rebuilt 400 Pontiac big block engine. It's got power brakes added to it. Aluminum radiator. It does have an alternator as well. Hood is still secured by its uh, original Pontiac Indian. This paint at a foot or two has an absolutely gorgeous shine. I mean, it looks just as nice in person, in my opinion, as it, done, as it does in the video and pictures. The paint looks gorgeous. You can see yourself in the paint anywhere. Um, in my opinion, the paint, body, and chrome is really nice on the car. It's riding on a brand new set of uh, white wall tires on it. Uh, the interior's got uh, bucket seats in it. Um, so a guy did his own taste with that, but as far as the exterior body and, and stuff like that, it's an awesome car. All this chrome has all been polished and in great shape. As far as our fenders go, I mean, there's a couple little, there's a little tiny little chip here. I mean, we buffed it all and waxed it all. It looks great. A couple little, little marks. I mean, the paint job's a little older. It's got a little chip here and a little scratch here. It's got a few things here and there, but overall appearance of the exterior body is awesome. Dual exhaust sounds good. This new dual exhaust comes out the back. Back bumper's all been re-chromed with the high bumper guards. They've been done also. It does have the battery in the trunk. All the turn signals. It's got aftermarket turn signals on it. All the headlights, tail lights, turn signals, everything works. This is a really cool street rod. Um, one of the major things on this car that I would probably um, do, you know, if a guy's going to buy it, um, we're asking 16000 bucks for it, so it's very reasonably priced. It's going to, should sell fast. Um, but it's got the original suspension, except for it's got the multi-leaf in the back. So if a guy really wants to make a nice street rod where you can go coast to coast with it, um, probably put some new suspension under it. But it definitely has power, tons of power from uh, stoplight to stoplight, I'll tell you that. As we look at the door panels, um, really finished pretty nicely. I don't think anything really has to be done different with the door panels. They're in good shape. Um, the seats are in excellent shape. Um, they're a newer aftermarket seat. They tilt, go forward, move, do all the stuff that it needs to do. Um, the headliner is homemade in it, so a guy probably wants to redo something um, down the road with the headliner, but it's all intact. Did a nice job on the back door panels when they did it. Um, also in this back seat area here. This is a five window coupe, so it's got the back shelf and the uh, spot for your luggage back there. It's got a B&M shifter. It's got the dual spotlights. And they're all wired and everything, so they're functional. All the chrome on this car has been polished or re chrome so it's got really nice chrome on it. No major dents anywhere on it. Like I said, the paint is on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a definite 8. Looks really nice. Runs excellent, guys. That's steam. It's a uh, it's about 30 degrees today, so very chilly day.
when they redid the car, they put all the new uh, fend fender felts and stuff in there too. Everything was painted off the car. I mean, this was a very professional paint job when it was done. Driver's side door panel's in good shape. Um, this one's scuffed up a little bit. It's got a little, had a little rip in it they fixed right here, it looks like. It's got something on the door panel. Carpet's very presentable. <coughs> the previous owner of the car drove this all around. I mean, he, he drove it all over. The horn works. Um, he said he did hook up one of the wipers. Yeah, driver's side wiper works. And look at the, uh, at the wiper switch here. It's just like the turns on the uh, appears to be original anyway. It's pretty neat. Um, as far as their turn signals, it's got aftermarket turn signals and they work and they flash out there on the top of the headlight. I don't know if you can see that or not. Spotlights work. Heater works great in it. That I'll start throwing out heat here. You flip the switch, you get a fan speed. Radio works. Gas gauge works. Alternator gauge works. Carries about 45, 50 pounds of oil pressure. Um, and temp gauge, it's got a temp gauge right down here. It's running about 120. So all the gauges work on it. Runs and drives good not many of these old hot rods have everything working like the spotlights and the horn and gauges and heater and just a cool car the biggest thing like I said I'd do with it is um, if I really wanted to go a long ways with this car is I'd probably put a different front suspension under it uh, maybe rear also this Pontiac 400 has got a lot of power so when you hammer on it you can just feel uh, feel it just gives a little bit to one side it does not have a positive rear end so shocks feel good visor fell down there you can just feel the torque of the engine when you give it gas so it definitely needs some sway bars if nothing else As far as running, driving down the road, go straight down the road, no hands on the wheel. Power brakes makes it really nice. It's got a nice full pedal, very easy to push. Speedometer works on it too. It's got the factory speedometer and it still works. Four hundred Pontiac idles, nice. Um, another nice thing about it, it's got the Pontiac Deluxe, it's Pontiac Deluxe, so it's got all the chrome and the dash stuff still in it. Um, like I said, the speedometer works, all the gauges work on it. It's a great driving old car.